What's up y'all, it's Liv from Olive and June and today I'm going to teach you how to do a manicure if you are a total and complete beginner. If you have never done your nails at home before, have no idea what you're doing and you need all the help, this is the video to start with. All you need is your Olive and June Manny system and then choose a color that's easy to paint. Choose something like a sheer, a BEB like I'm using today or choose a metallic or a glitter. Those will be super forgiving but you got your supplies? Let's get started. Okay, step one, shaping. These are the tools that we use for shaping. This is our dual grit nail file. This is our flat edge clipper. We're just gonna teach you how to gently shape your nails um, and kind of just enhance the natural shape of your nails. The first thing you're gonna use is the flat edge clipper. And we believe when we're doing shaping to follow the 90-10 rule. So what that means is you let the clipper do 90% of the work and then you let the file do only the last 10%, just sort of making sure the length is where you like it and it's generally the shape that you like. So these are looking honestly pretty good for me. The most important trick with filing your nails is to remember to file your nails in one direction. So when we say one direction, what we mean is just be really deliberate about how you're moving your file. I'm not trying to create a perfect shape here. I just want everything to feel just smooth enough. We're looking good. The next step is prep. So we are going to reach for our nail polish remover pot. This of course comes in the Mandy system. And the nail polish remover pot is pretty much the best magic trick ever because you just stick your finger in the remover pot, you swirl it around a couple times, and your polish comes off. We are obsessed with our nail polish remover pot. Once you've taken your old polish off, it's time to work on your cuticles. Take your thumbnail and just gently push your cuticles back like this. This should never hurt at all. None of this should feel uncomfortable. So if you are experiencing any pain, you're definitely pushing way too hard, but essentially you're just kind of clearing off the surface of your nail. Once you've pushed all your cuticles back, you want to buff them away. So this is our buffer. It's a super gentle, fine grit buffer. What I like to do is take one of the corners of the buffer and I essentially position it right in that space where my nail meets the base of my cuticle like that. And I'm kind of just using the buffer as a super, super precise eraser. And I'm making that cuticle that I revealed by pushing it back just basically disappear. You can also use your buffer to just Gently buff the surface of your nail. If you have any sort of light ridges on your nails, you can use this to kind of smooth everything over. The last and most important step for prep is the step that everyone misses, and that is the final dip in the remover pot. Just dip every single nail right back in that remover pot, just like that. And then remember not to touch anything. Time to polish. So this is Beb, like I said, it's a sheer white polish. As you can see, it's very beloved by yours truly. And of course, when you're gonna do your man, you always wanna bring your BFF Poppy. All of our polishes have an overcap. So you go ahead and pop the overcap off just like that. Once you've popped off the overcap, you want to find the flat side of the brush. This wide side is the side you wanna paint with. And then once you've found it, I like to place that brush back in the bottle gently without twisting it on. And then I find my poppy and I line up the flat side of poppy with that flat side of the brush. So because I already know where the flat side is, I just go ahead and do what I call the poppy shimmy. And you can kind of turn your bottle sideways just a bit like this. You wanna make sure that you don't push Poppy all the way down. Seeing a little bit of that white inner cap is perfect placement. Our recommendation for polishing is lip the brush out of the bottle like so, wipe one side of the brush along the neck of the bottle like that, so that that side is bare and then that side's loaded up with polish. The most important step is to start that brush in the center of your nail. I know it sounds crazy, but start your brush in the center of your nail and then push that brush down towards the base of your cuticle and then pull back. And then you just go and hit the two sides like that so that you've got that first coat down. Let's do that again. So you dip the brush in the bottle like so, with one side of the brush against the neck of the bottle, that side's loaded up, that side's bare. Again, start the brush in the center of your nail, make contact with the center of your nail, and then gently push down towards the base of your cuticle like that, and then pull back. And then again, 
go in and do the two sides. And there you go. For the second coat, you don't want to start the brush in the middle of your nail because you already have that good kind of first base layer down. So for your second coat, then you can go ahead and place the brush at the base of your nail like that. And then middle, side, side. Once you've done two coats and you let it fully dry, you are ready to apply top coat. And I do a nice thin layer of top coat, just like that. I mean, how good does that look? All right, after you've polished your nails, you are ready to clean up. You just take the brush, gently swirl it in the remover pot like that. And you essentially use the cleanup brush to clean up any place you colored outside the lines. And you'll find as you get more confident with the Manny system, and you start to go into more challenging colors, you can use the cleanup brush to really sculpt out what the final look is. All right, last step, cuticle serum. But once your mani is totally dry, a couple clicks like that, load the product into the tip, and then you want to, of course, hydrate your cuticle, which is that skin at the base of your nail, but then don't be afraid to get into the sides as well. I know I get super dry skin, as you can see here, on the sides of my nails like that, and it basically just totally revives them. Love it. All right, y'all, that is how you do it. Super easy, Manny, just for beginners. See you next time. Bye.